Alright, so let's talk about Earthshaker. So the Earthshaker, it got so many nerfs. So, what the zero is, is a team fight, but he doesn't have damage. He got he's got a lot of uh, disables and shit, but you you lack damage. Your team you need damage in your team. That, that's the weakness. Second weakness, the laning. Laning is like fucking weak. So you need a strong position three. Uh, what are they? Enchantress, uh, Furion. Yep, those like strong threes. Night Circle is not that strong. Now, even if you're not laning with a strong three, there's a there's like ways you can like play around it. So a lot of the position fours require level two to roam, but this hero you need like you just need level one, the Fisher. What you wanna do is there's there's two ways to make your lane better. One way, block your creeps, make the lane meet here. Second way block their creep so like what when do you want to do like these kind of shit you want to block here when you have a when you have a range off lane if you have a ranged off lane then you can like kind of cs from here when you have a melee off lane you can like when you have a melee off lane that can tank like burster back night stalker the play is you want to block this and then it's gonna push, right? Because your the top, this tower is going to hit the hit your wave. So you block, the tower pushes, and you gotta make sure you block the small cap. That way, their position, their their support is going to be fucking useless. So support just like it's just gonna leech the XP, and your carry is not their carry is not gonna feel happy because they're sharing wave when the carry doesn't need the support in the lane. So. That's what you have to do. So like most of the times, you start with boots. Boots, two clarys. You don't need tangos because you're not gonna trade. Your armor is very shit. Your HP regen is not that good too. And it's actually pretty good, but you, like, you don't want to trade. You want to use like the... You got a very like pretty high movement speed. You know, especially with boots. Like even without boots, look at it. 310. So like you want to move around. Move around the map with level 1 Fisher. Fisher. Now when you like Fisher mid... You have to try to not take the mid XP. So like before the creeps die, you wanna get out of the range and you wanna like fisher. Okay? Okay. So this game looks very good to do it because A you have night soccer, so like this guy just like needs levers, right? So you don't need to like do all this shit. Even if you get a kill here, it's not worth it to it's not worth it because you're gonna be using your fishers to not block this to get kills. And it's gonna like snowball. Yeah, your lane is in the lane, like you're not gonna have a lot to do. So like this lane is very easy. Just Fisher block, make the way push in, block this shit. Nice stalkers, nice stalker is gonna be level three when they're gonna be level two. Gank mid, invoker is really weak. Just like just like Fisher from very far away. He's gonna feel very pressure. He's and he's gonna pull the supports over. Okay, okay. If it's like somehow you're laning, you just have to fisher for the range creep, okay? Okay. See how useless you were in the first two minutes? Until now, you, you're not going to wave. And you shouldn't. Like, you're a, like, yeah, but yeah, you should be a mid. Just fishering from very far away. Just block this guy and just like walk up and then back up. Walk up, pretend to fucking punch, and then you you pull out. So like this guy will feel very very pressured, and he's, like he's gonna be very mindful about his positioning. Maybe he's gonna call a support. Like that's what he should be doing. He should call a support to mirror you, and then bam, you back away in the shadows. The mirror now is gonna come, and then you back away. You gank bottom. Okay, okay. How do you get XP then? What? Don't get XP. You're okay with being low level. Just stack. Your like sub your cores are going to be super high level, so they're gonna make the space for you at like seven minutes, eight minutes in the game. Okay, okay. You're gonna stack like during that during this shit too. Even if you're like level one at six minutes, seven minutes in the game. Uh, so like six seven minutes in the game, you're level one. 
you're gonna be there should be a lot of stacks like i don't know like what you're doing if you're level one and you don't have stacks so you should have a lot of stacks tell the core who got over leveled because like you're like helping him that's why you're level one right tell that guy to fucking go jungle and for the next three four five waves you're gonna get a solo xp so you're gonna be like level three level four and then bam there's a tome and then you're almost level six and one more wave you're level six so levels don't matter that much like uh if you're a nurse shaker I'm I'm saying like there are like there are different kind of varieties of style and this style uh, I think it was good for this game because of the night soccer who just benefits from levers he wants like hide as much levers as possible at the first night time right right and like the mid it's very easy to pressure cause invoker okay okay man I did so much wrong early if I remember correctly I don't do anything uh. Well, like the position 4 and position 5, the first 10 minutes is, especially for position 4, like, there's a huge, there's a huge things, there's a huge impact for the position 4, the first 10 minutes, and then the impact comes later on, but yeah, that's like the, that's like your golden peak timing, you can have such a huge impact on the map, not, not even like killing people, like stacking, giving your teammates solo XP, like those are big factors too, Darken, and it, like depends on like what kind of hero you are like for example or shaker like you're useful from level one but earth spirit for example he wants he's useful from level two uh, so like he wants to lane until level two and then he wants to roam around like some shit like that like a lot of heroes are different and like for example even if this guy is not a night soccer and it's like a oh enchantress for example i think you you can just stay in the lane and help enchantress snowball off the am because I think the Enchantress with like Orbo Venom or Ring of Basilius will out-trade regen the AM a lot. But like he needs somebody there. Otherwise like the Antimage plus one can go up to him and mana burn him. So like he wants a Meteor aka you around the lane. So like I don't I don't want you to like think of this like as a 100% thing. I just want you to like think of the like know the Earthshaker's weakness and just play around it. Okay? Okay. Oh, I kind of didn't like this Urshaker Fisher because you have to try to be in an angle to block. So I think I think you had the luxury too. I think you could have walked here where CM is, and then kind of kind of see the situation, and then you can like try to Fisher block him. It's like this Fisher is it's not gonna do anything. It's, it what it does is it's not gonna it's not good for a killing angle because he's not blocked, so you're not gonna be able to get the enchant on and off, and it refuse your position that's like the worst shit so like the enemy mid can just dive this guy now with the information that they got from top so yep just play around try to not show unless very necessary another thing i want you to know i explained it a, a little bit of a, a kind of briefly but when you're playing roaming support it's important that you stack if you don't stack, you're not going to be able to catch up on levers because the cores won't feel like uh, natural going to the jungle. You know what I mean? Yeah, so try to get a lot of stacks going when you're rooming. It's all about getting runes and stack and going to where you think you can like pressure the enemy the most when you're on a roaming support, okay? Okay. You're doing good. Tranquil Boots first is good. I don't like Arcane on Earthshaker because on level 10, the level 10 talent is your Arcane uh, Boots. It gives you a lot of mana. And you're like, you're a hero. The farming skill is this, Enchant Totem. You don't farm with Fisher. Because uh, Fisher has a pretty long cooldown, so you need to save this for the fights. Because fights can be whenever. So. Uh, and this doesn't cost a lot of mana, so just like have clarities. Tranquil and then have some clarities and then get blink and then the next item after blink it's another mana item it's like either yours or four staff so it, like it gives you mana because you're gonna have to get staff of wizardry so yep. but most of the times i think you don't need arcane on your ship like even if there's no cm oh one thing that i kind of wanted to talk about is even when you're like on a hero that buys blinks really early, it's important that you have true sight. They have Mirana and Invoker, and you're like a 
You like a roaming support, so you're gonna engage with the enemy heroes a lot, so you need to have dust on you. Okay, okay. Oh wait, what? Why do you get this? Was this a misclick? Always get Fisher, Max Fisher after. Sometimes the skill varies too. So for example, if you have a Lina, Pugna, like those heroes that benefit from a like a longer duration Fisher, because like these these, these 0.25 seconds actually matter a lot. So when you have when I have like Lina Pugna who's like kind of doing well or like mediocre like average one like a level three fisher versus level one fisher is a lot different for those heroes so like a quad swags in vocal two for example so uh, i i max fisher i get like three one one build or like two on two actually two on two into like kind of having a higher level in fisher when you have uh when you have like these mid spare caster mid hero that's a spare caster that can benefit from a longer duration stun from fisher that's when you like get higher points in Fisher, but since you don't have it, I uh, like the aftershock. Cause this this and this is your farming item. Farming tool. Yeah, you stack camps, you stack jungle camps and you just farm this and you just back up with Fisher. Uh if you're behind. But I don't like maxing this. Don't max this. Just get uh Fisher. Another cool thing, when you're playing versus oh man, I'm giving away so much information. When you're playing versus Morphling. What you should do is not max enchant totem at all until the game ends. Uh, just have it on level one, cause Morphling uh, will copy you for sure. And if he copies you at level twenty-five, imagine if you have level one enchant totem, he's not gonna feel very good. So yeah. Now, now, like think if you think like vice versa, if you have a Morphling on your team, most of the times Morphling will like out level you a lot. So he's gonna need you to get max the enchant totem first so uh your skill build can look something like uh three four four because like you need to max the enchant totem but otherwise in those situations i really want you to max the fisher the fisher dura the stun duration it actually helps a lot so yeah and the like cooldown too okay okay <laughs> I think you have a very bad habit of like when everything is up, you should fisher first. Uh, fisher first. Like here, for example, when you're killing the LC with the CM, I thought you could have fishered and then just used the enchant room. Save the echo. Echo has a really long cooldown, so I like how you are like open minded and just like using it on single hero. That's good, but it's a long cooldown, so you should try to save it when you can. Use the fog to your advantage. I know like this has this spell and this spell has a lot of animation. So sure, like when you're smoked, like you have to use the echo first. But since this guy was just hitting the tower, I don't think he was gonna back up. So you can just use the fisher. Same same thing for here. Like you're expecting him to come here, but he's not expecting you to come. So you're gonna have like a 0.2 second faster reaction time than he does. So you can so you have the luxury to fisher. And just like blink and then enchant totem, okay? Same thing for here, like this fight too. You blink echoed on the invoker plus one, but I think you could have pressed Fisher and just changed on the invoker because uh, the damage is not necessary, okay? Okay. But like overall, just like try to have like Fisher first. Yeah. Uh, Fisher first and then enchant totem when you know that you have a reaction time advantage. When you know like you see it, you see them and they don't see you, you can pull this off, okay? Okay. That looks so unnecessary, what happened? Why, why are you guys here? Like here, the CM jog is still dead. Uh, don't 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 play aggressive. Just just wait for them to come to you. I I like how you guys are like not sitting at your base because this, this is really good. But what you should do here, you guys yes you guys can five v three, but they have to come to you guys. Uh, you guys have like a good vision advantage. Just stand up, stand high ground here. You have the gem like you know they have no wards here. If they walk up, that's when you can fight. 
most of the times when you're earth shaker you're their number one priority most of the times that what that means is in the team fight they are looking at you before they are trying to find you before you cast anything and if you die uh team fight becomes a lot easier for them so you have to be really wary about your position you don't want to get gone on first Yeah, I think like you were, you guys were playing so good, and then you guys did it, started to like not play like a team. At 30 minute bounty run, so Jug and the CM got caught here, and then you, you guys played aggressive, and Jug and CM was still dead. Sure, you guys didn't die, but I think like a lot of spares were wasted. Slash, you were too low. Being low is a resource too, like you, the the your health bar. So, yep. <laughs> So here too, just Fisher. Let's Fisher disengage. There's no PA or jog around you, so like your echo is not gonna do a lot. Remember you your echo is not the damage. It just looks like a damage. It looks fancy and shiny, but it's not the damage. It's just a stun. Let's look at their perspective. See like how how you were seen. Yeah, so to try to like not be seen uh from enemy team's perspective. I think you could have walked here and then used enchant totem. Not like through the wave. Uh other than that, nothing to talk about. I think like, you guys just like fed one by one already. Uh, you guys got cocky, let your guard down. Yeah. Alright, any questions? Only question is the talent. Do you go movement speed or armor? You go armor. Get armor. That one is game dependent too, I guess. But like 70%, 60, 70% of the times, armor is better.